Hi and welcome. Let's have a quick look at how easy it is to add background slides to Weebly's uh, header element. New header element, it needs to be a new one. And, and or Weebly sections. You can see the Weebly section element under structure. So those are the elements where we will be able to add a background slider. It is a background image slider. So let's get started. And under what used to be third-party apps, it's now called installed apps. You should be able to look in back your background slider element. And then you need to drop it inside of the either header or section. So you can add it at the top or at the bottom. I'm going to add it at the bottom where it doesn't bother. So once you add it, you can see that there is some dummy background displaying. To access the settings, the only thing you will need to do is click on the placeholder bar and then it will take you to a to a panel where you can control your your uh, images as well as the settings. You can upload from two till three uh, images. I'm going to set this to four. I'm going to leave for now these effects and I'm going to upload my images either by clicking on it or you can drag and drop your images here as well. So let's upload some images. I said four images, so let's upload four images. Just like that. You also have the option, of course, of deleting the image by here or rearranging them by grabbing them and just moving them around. So if you want this one to be the first image, for example, you just move it there. <clears throat> then for the next setting, there is a transition style. You have uh, quite some options to pick from. Uh, I'm going to leave it to, let's say, the slide left, for example. And then for the animation type, when using the slide, I'm going to set it to none. You can also define the slide speeds. So the time that each slide has to display its uh, value in milliseconds. So let's have a quick look at once you're done with it. The slider preview sometimes acts a little bit weird, but it shouldn't influence the live side though. So when you click on save, you should see a loading appear. When that's done, you can click on done. And then now you can see that we have our slider here appearing. We have a slide left effect. This placeholder bar where you can access your background settings won't be visible, of course, on the live side. Let's publish it and have a quick look here. And then you can see our slider appearing here. Since it is a background slider, you are able to add as on this here, a, some content on top of it. I chose some dummy content that came with it. You can delete it, of course, you can add more and so on. And remember that you always have to add it either in the new header element, where you have options like, let me have a quick look, where you have uh, edit background or replace header. It needs to be something like this. I'm not gonna do it. And when the section element, of course, so here you can see there are four images inside columns. Let's also cre quickly create a, a background slider for this one. Again, I will drop it at the bottom. Also, do keep in mind that you cannot add two uh, sliders, of course, in the same section. So for here, I'm going to leave it to, to, to three. And again, I'm going to upload three images. Just like that. And then when it's ready, I'm going to click on save. And I'm done. And then you can see the preview as well here in your editor. So now we will publish. And again, have a look at the live site. It's also wise, as you can see, there was a small uh, preview of the first image that you could actually still upload the background image or color you would like in case the slider isn't loading on time. And here for the second image you can see there is another effect going on with a zooming effect like this but it also has a slider. There is a maximum of up to six slides you can upload per slider 
do keep in mind to not make the images too large in size and also do not fill the page with uh, too many sliders of course as it will only slow down your page hope this was useful and uh, please have a look at the demo link we have also in the description of the app thank you